Frank, did you just decide to take over the game late there? Uh, well, I hit a couple shots late and uh, just felt pretty confident. But, you know, just have to give props to my teammates. They did a great job of uh, screening and uh, getting in great position to score. And uh, I just made a couple shots there late. How good does it feel at the end of the game to look at you? You got two seniors sitting next to you. They were on the court. And then uh, Wayne Selden and Jay Wilson Jr. Uh, how huge is your experience? Uh, it's very huge. You know, move, moving forward is very huge for us in the program. Um, you know, we have a lot of experience. Um, Perry's, um, he's been great throughout the years here. Uh, Mari also been great. Uh, and it was just great to have some experience on the court and get the job done tonight. Hey, Perry, what's the biggest challenge as a player to adjust to international rules and international style of play? Um, just the shot clock, I would say. Um, that's the biggest thing I, I, I feel. Um, just got to play a lot faster, get into sets a lot quicker. Is the ball feel different? It's a di slightly different size. I um, yeah, it definitely feels different. Um, you no, know, but we're, we're adjusting to it. Uh, we're shooting with it every day, and uh, it's getting better and better. I think, Frank, when you guys are playing with that short shot clock and you guys have a lot of, have a lot of, you need, basically need to create at the end of the shot clock, do you think that plays kind of into your game a little bit? Uh, definitely, you know, um, I'm really good at creating my own shot, but, you know, um, the start of the possession, uh, coach just wanted me to create a shot for my teammate, uh, well, easy shot for my teammate, and uh, that's what I try to do. So once it get down to uh, five, six seconds, uh, I know I can get a shot up. Guys, you hear a lot of cheers, obviously, when you're in Allen Fieldhouse. What, what are just your thoughts on hearing the USA chant out there? Is that kind of motivate you a little bit or not? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, it's an honor to do this, and we're, we're excited, and we're just trying to get better and, and go compete. Jamari, that rule where you, you know, the ball is live on the rim and the goaltending, <coughs> have you practiced on trying to take balls off the rim? Yeah, uh, Coach actually wants us to do it a little more in the games. I try to, I try to time it in practice, and uh, we we try, we actually uh, try to do it in practice. It's a little different in the game. Uh, a couple times we jumped up there, uh, missed time, and they got the ball back. And there's a couple times I tried to tip it off. So uh, we got to get better at that too, as well, adjusting to the new rules. Terry, what do you think of uh, Frank in the fourth quarter? He did a great job, controlled the pace of the game. Uh, he's getting in there, finishing, making shots, knocking down his free throws. He did everything we asked of him. Yeah, I mean, he was doing downhill drives, you know, and uh, that's that's what Coach wants. And it was opening other things up, and he was knocking down shots. So it was big. Have you guys played a college game? You've got a lot of tape and video on the players and the teams. Are you, getting, are you getting that when you're going you're to face Turkey and you're opening? Will you in this game as a preparation? For this game, no, uh, we didn't. Um, I'm not sure about the. I'm, I'm sure that we'll get something. Uh, hopefully, you know, but I'm not sure yet. So we'll see. Yeah, same. They just told us everybody could shoot the ball, so you had to get up on. <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty bad scouting report. Uh, we didn't really know the guys. Coach didn't say much. We just believed in ourselves and our ability and our athleticism and our. We just wanted to go out there and compete, and we got the job done. Well, Frank, what was going through your head? You were down 10, kind of running mud during the first half. What was going through your mind at that point? Well, I think uh, the same thing that goes through our minds every game when we're down, uh, we want to get stops, uh, two, three stops in a row, you know, and get inside and get easy shots, you know, to get the momentum and try and take the lead. Barry, what do you like about um, uh, Bragg's game and uh, how soon, how long will it take him to Get real good. I think it'll be quick. I really like his game. Uh, he was out there hustling. He he played a great game. I feel uh, real skilled also. So, I mean, bright future for him. Frank, is there something to be said for having a, 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 a tough game tonight? Sort of turned into kind of an emotional game. Um, it looked like, from our perspective, uh, it wasn't just any kind of cakewalk for either team. Is, is, is there something to be said for having getting this thing started with this kind of tough uh, involved game? Get this whole tournament thing going on. Well, yeah, it's always great to, um, you know, play a competitive game and play a close game because, you know, it, it helped both teams moving forward. So, um,
tonight um, we learned a lot. You know, we played a great team and a lot of guys that's older and stronger and they played a lot of basketball games. So um, we just wanted to stick together as a team, uh, stick to what we do and compete and give ourselves a chance to win so we can get better uh, moving forward. Jamari, you've uh, uh, been here five years now, and now you have the word senior next to your name. Uh, how does that change your approach, your confidence? How does that change anything? Uh, I'm just a lot more comfortable out there, and uh, I just want to get other guys going. Um, I feel like I was talking to Carlton and LeGerald the whole time in the game, and uh, I feel like that's my role to help guys out when I can because I know a lot. And I've been here, I know what coach expects from guys, and uh, that's pretty much it. Be a vocal leader out there and, and lead by example with my, my hustle, my energy, and uh, guys will follow from that. What, what was Coach Self like tonight? I mean, was he the normal guy you would see maybe in February in the Big 12 season or, or a little different? Um, he was just like, uh, he was just loose, uh, free with everybody, He's letting everybody know just go out there and play. He want to win, uh, obviously, but um, he was just letting guys know, hey, just go out here and play. Uh, everybody's going to play tonight. Uh, just go out there and defend, play hard. And uh, young guys, you're going to make mistakes when you go out there, but just make them go hard. And that was it. Great. Kelly, uh, Nick Moore helps with the addition to the roster. Uh, he's been great uh, the past couple of days. Um, he's been here, uh, you know, just talking, uh, being the person that he is, uh, being vocal, uh, just helping our team out a lot in different ways, you know. Can score the ball, pass the ball. Um, he's tough. And obviously what we needed uh, the past year, vocal leader. So we've both been out there trying and being vocal so we can give ourselves the best chance. Do you think Nick's presence is going to help you be a better leader of this team? Um, definitely. I think so. Um, you know, even if he wasn't a part of the team, uh, I still would try to improve my vocal uh, leadership skills. And But seeing him being more of a vocal leader, and he's a senior, you know, you always can learn things from seniors and just trying to get yourself better. All right, fellas. You guys, you guys good? All right. <coughs> it's my birthday tomorrow.